Hey there, everyone! This is Aokao playing uh, Fragile Dreams. Uh, farewell, see you later. And last time I fought a boss, and then I backtracked, and I forward tracked, uh, and now I'm somewhere. Uh, these last few videos have felt kind of like finales to me, but the truth is, we came from over here. But the truth is, where, you know, we went through the cage that, um, silver-haired girl was under that Sai just so happened to know the password of on the sly. It has been feeling finale, but the reality is, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh, we got split path here. Like, I was just going to say, maybe this is just the start of a new hub. So, looks like that wall over here kinda crumpled. Kind of full. Okay, fantastic. Let's run around then. Let's go back to the start and uh, let's be systematic until being systematic stops working. Or we cut ahead to somewhere. Who knows? So I am here. The first place I want to check out is here. We're on a map. It looks like it will lead to a dead end, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, at least two dead ends actually. <laughs> One dead end becomes two. Okay, I heard sound. Yeah, yeah, it's a crying lady sound. Can tell because it sounds like a crying lady. Oh, geez, what the hell? Their purple aura. Oh, 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 red eye did not last very long. Yeah, um, this is very inconvenient, you know. All right, are you going to lay down or at least kneel down? Are you going to do something? Did. Oh, what my... Huh. See, by trying to do my combo properly, I ended up, yeah, missing a hit, which is what happens a lot. Oh, Alright, so you're still doing your thing. No, alright, you're still trying to hit me. Meme. I'm trying to navigate this maze of cameras. Alright. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, there we go. We just need a combo. We got a really good... Feel, well, I got a level and my weapon broke. That's bad. So... I don't have a choice. Yeah, I got an axe now. Alright, so that's hold and release, right? Jeez, that... Oh boy, okay. Well, I gotta make do. Can't believe I broke my sword. That's three. There is room for that. I just need to figure it out. Um, I mean, the easiest solution would be to just dunk this, I guess. It's broken. I can't reforge it. So people are telling me to look in my menu for other greens, but no, like, I... Oh, I have these somehow. How did I not notice? I don't know. Uh, pressing the wrong button. It happens. All right, but I can't re-equip until I get back to the fireplace, which is fine. I got a mystery item. That's fine. What's going on here? Don't assume your life is your own. Rude. My life is my own, and you can't do anything about it. All right, so. First part, explored. It seems like a risk to check the other chamber as it also, yeah, might have stuff I can't pick up is my biggest concern. But there's nothing on the floor here, immediately. Like, I don't have to fight this singular lady, but I guess I will. Uh, as soon as she, you know, there we go. Oh, this is not gonna work with this weapon, so I gave up immediately. Uh, I should... I need to figure it out. Like, why are you alone? And like, you're barely trying to attack me. Well, now you try to attack me. Alright, and you're making lots of crying sounds. That's accurate. No? Alright. Well, no. I mean, yeah, you, you advanced the... Oh, a new one was appeared. Eh. Yeah, like, I just don't see this ever really working out. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, jeez. That's a big number, though. That is a big number. But I'm kind of stuck here. It's very uncomfortable. I don't know. Is this doable? Am I trying to do something silly here? I'm kind of pulling people away at this point. 
Yeah, oh, but you're still coming. You're, you're still aware of my presence. You're still just kind of sort of tagging in and out. Oh, and then we stepped away from the zone of conflict. As it goes. All right, well, that was there. All right, so it looks like I'll be able to downgrade to another green weapon. That's... Like, the axe seems maybe okay. I don't like how slow it is. All right. Uh, here we go. We'll lower that crane shot. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so we get money. Spear. Spear is good. Oh, did I never read the words for spear? I don't know. So, nothing major. Like, we got money and we got... We got a tool. It's pretty good. It's not what I'm interested in. So I have to have another weapon. So annoying. And we're going from tunnel to tunnel. It's the exact same area, so it will not have changed its name. That's typically... That is not what I meant to do. I'm getting mixed up with my buttons these days. It's very odd. Alright, so... That's one fork. We saw, you know, wall art. That we did. Cannot deny that. Beyond that, though, um, well, we're gonna go this way this time. And it might divert, yeah, into a bunch of other paths. And more crying ladies. True. Oh, you just kind of appeared, like, really quickly here. All right, well, this is what fighting looks like. I'm here doing the half steps, you're floating there, sobbing. And then what it looks like, so I, I gotta go like back down a little bit further. Like I need to like stay within sight so that I can see you crouch down at some point, but not close enough that you want to go on the attack. And eventually, at some point, no, okay. You still, you still don't think it's a good time to show your, your weak point. Oh wow, you're like instantly turned around though. It's pretty good. Like, this is a completely ridiculous fight. Like, this, this is what, yeah, there we go, finally. Ah, I did this wrong. I just smashed. I did not, like... And I stepped back too far back. And as far as I'm concerned, you probably rehealed. So that's cool. All right, I got a mystery item. It's one big. I think I don't need to fight you because just fighting you is a real hassle. Just because it's a oh, gotta wait for your weak point to show up kind of thing. Like, has there been what mystery items that have lived inside enemies before? I don't think there has been, so while I could maybe use the money drops, um, I think I'm fine. It's just, yeah, like, fighting y'all is just too big of a pain. Where am I? Oh, did I walk all the way to the other end? I sure did. So there's a tiny road, which is the one that instinctively I want to go. Oh, look at that. There's a thing on top there that I almost missed. Uh, 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 okay, I need to be closer, I guess. Uh, uh, uh. Pick it up. Notice it. It's right there. I, I guess it won't let me? Do I need to be, like, more in front? I need to be, like, at a specific place? Like, I, I, I can't be more precise than this. I don't think. Grab! I mean, I can't. I... I'm as close as I'm gonna be getting here. I don't know how to get this object. Like, it pains me to abandon it here, but I cannot get to that object. It is not possible to do so. Is there something I'm missing? Okay, so seeing a fire pit there, so I mean that's probably where progress is. So we're gonna take a detour into this room. Yeah, spooky ghost stone. Oh, it's these. Oh my god, it's a jellyfish. 
Whoa, that was violent. Ghostly violence. Here's a flash bomb I'm not gonna use. Hey, you know what? Let's try it. Can I just, like, go here and pick it up? Flash bulb. It's me. I'm the flash bulb king now. Alright, so I'm gonna go, like, no? So how does this work again? I gotta... Oh, I gotta wait for it to fill up. And then it burn out. Immediately. That was very useful. I am... <laughs> incredibly impressed by the performance of this little treasure I found. Wow! Oh, there's more goals than ever. Alright, they're just... Uh, this might be a dangerous spot now. I might still just keep the war effort going here for the sake of it XP. Sounds silly in a pseudo horror game, but those are decisions that were made. Man, I'm not nailing my combo today. Like, I'm just not doing it well. Alright, but it looks like I cleared the spot. Hey, I got a drop. Whoa! Really? Oh, cool. What is going on here with my just my inventory falling to pieces? Alright, well, this poor little club barely got a time to shine. It fell apart nearly instantly. Got another mystery item. Okay, this is doing things though. We are at a smaller crossroad. But first, we're gonna fire. Uh, am I starting to talk to myself? No, you have not. Sigh wow. is right there. Wow, it's a ham hammer. is cool. Survive blow from it. So, so a giant might evade this weapon. That's the thing, though. But it's a slow weapon. Kind of hard to use. Hey, an actual bell is back. Dawn was just about to break, and the subdued rays of morning light were finally spreading across the sky. I was taking my time, strolling through the bustling scene of the early hours. The clamor hurt my ears. Angry shouts rang from the main street, while flirts could be heard in the alleys. Flirts? I avoided the hubbub on my way. Just being in a foul place like this made me remember the life I'd led. There was a shop with its door propped open. The music that wafted from within was not what you'd consider uplifting. The sign by the entrance was half shrouded in dark. The, the, there's a shot with door propped open line sounded so accusatory. <laughs> the word Sylvia adorned it. Hey. Boss, I think you've had enough. A sweet voice said from behind the bar. The bartender was a long haired woman in a sleeveless dress, who was leaning against the wall. She lost a shoe. I know it's up to you, but I think you've been hitting the bottle hard lately. The voice was young and lilted, like that of a male cat calling to a female. I think it might not... Rika. A glass clattered hard against the bar's surface, cutting her off. Silence followed. Fine. Don't listen to me, then. The girl behind the counter took the glass to fill it, but grumbled in disapproval. I'm just saying this out of concern for you. You look exhausted these days. And the last lady to run this place, well, you know. Rika! Again, the glass hit the counter. A cigarette was lit. Someone's gonna say something. Once you're done, you can leave for today. What? Do you want me to fire you? The woman bristled with anger. But the girl named Rika only shrugged her shoulders. Sounds like a cool workplace. Don't say that. If you deserted me, I'd be all alone. The glass she placed on the bar didn't smell of the pungent alcohol. It was a white liquid. The last owner of this place died from alcohol poisoning. I don't want that to happen to you. See you tomorrow. There was the sound of high heels approaching. I darted behind the sign. That shift in tone is kind of funny. Huh? Rika looked up and down the alley, bathed in morning light. 
Sylvia? I already knew who she was calling to by that name. Rika gave a heavy sigh for the first time and dragged her feet down the dirty street. It was only when she was finally out of sight that I made up my mind. I'd never heard how Sylvia had been brought up before she died. She was so shy and quiet. There wasn't much to say about her. She was the one girl I didn't hate. But now, I was going to steal her name. Because that's your thing. At first, I thought it was revenge. It had to be. Revenge against them for living better lives than me. And it was revenge against my own cruel fate. Step by step, I made my way through the half-open door into the shop and whispered, Mama. The woman was slumped over the bar, the same as when Rika first left. She sluggishly hoisted herself up to look at me and shook her head as though she wasn't sure what she was hearing. I whispered once more, Mama. That's when her barren eyes, laced with crow's feet, wrinkled in a squint. Oh, so it's you. She laughed with tears in her eyes. You poor little thing. You look just the same as when you first came here. Phase blindness is pretty hard in this world. Something about how she said that made her sound like Rika. Where have you been? You've been gone for so long. What have you been doing with yourself? Here. Drink up. You can have this. It's your favorite. I'll give you whatever you need. Anything at all. So I'm pretty sure I understand what's happening. There's a good girl. She cooed in a slow drawl. Offering me the glass. I wonder if Sylvia was also served warm milk like this the first time she came here. I'm sorry. I whispered for the first time to myself. I am Sylvia. Sylvia, with her purple bell. Well, it's kind of red color, but that might just be the color tone. Held close by Mama, in a small downtown bar. So I think the narrator and the sisters are cats, right? Like the whole thing about having like bells tied to their neck, like wearing bells, like that's where that comes from, right? And like it really procs with just the general behavior they've been showing. Oh, you can't save broken stuff. Get out of my face. Yes, is what we say. Yeah, that club like just barely lasted. That is worrisome to me. Well, I got at least one more. I was hoping Chicken Man would come back, but he did not. I mean, I got, like I said, I got one more, one more club. I do not have one more club. I have a pipe. Oh, that seems mean. But here we are. I mean, I have two more pipes. So more than just one more, but like I'd rather not be fighting with pipes at this point. I mean, maybe this is the game telling me, hey, use different kinds of weapons. But I I know what I want. I know what I prefer. Uh and yeah, I guess I'm willing to downgrade my damage output for the sake of having a comfortable way of swinging a blade or blunt object. All right, so this looks like where it's gonna matter, right? There's like, there's like writing over there. So let's check out the side chambers real quick. We'll see what they lead to. And then I'm probably gonna stop because the bell story, they take a while. Uh-oh, I can't, how big is this? This is not on the map yet. Cool. This looks a bit bigger than I thought it'd be. This looks like on the side. I don't know. Well, 
Let's see. Let's just have a look. Yeah, that room might actually be more like a room or a room in the middle. I might have made a mistake. Mystery item. Alright. Oh no, there's defense robo. Me without my katana. Alright, well maybe if I just ignore it and run around like that, and then the woman that speaks for the robot will speak at no one. That's the plan. Here we go. So, found my way in another long hallway. Oh, that one exploded. That didn't really matter. Yeah, and that door seems to be leading somewhere. Doesn't it? I mean, leads into something. Okay, let's check out the other corridor. While ignoring fights here. If the ID cannot be confirmed. All right, I'll guess I'll move on then. So the other corridor. What lies here? Oh, it's just a single room. More happy ladies. Well, here's a golf club, which is nice. I mean, I'd rather. No, that is nice, actually. I am happy to see that. That is kind of exactly what I need. Do I want to fight, crying lady? It's only one. But it is an annoying fight, because I need to wait for them to show their weakness. And I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd just rather not fight. So, here's a fire here. Is there anything going on here? Like, here's just a room. There's writing on the wall. Huh. So yeah, like, to kill two birds with one stone. I don't have any stones. Uh, I guess I do have a slingshot. I don't know if I can kill two birds with one toss, though. I don't know if the math works out. Mystery item, it's very long. Could be something useful. Bright light flashes when I do a big hit. See, you guys got, like, new fancy color arrangements, but... Your damage output is as weak as ever. Yeah, see, I saw, like, the big writing there on the wall, right? That you can see clearly from a distance. I thought, oh, well, that's gonna matter. It's a very cryptic hint that maybe it does matter, actually, and I'm just not aware of it. But maybe it does. I don't know. All right, only one left. Two left. There we go. Pshoo, you, how about you? All right, here we get a mystery item. So that's two one square mystery items and one long one. Let's see what happens. I didn't see you. Walk on eggshells. Oh, oh, could you like avoid the fights if you're being careful? Maybe. Walk on those eggshells. <sighs> Make I'm no tired. feet omelets. All right, and nice yeah, surprise. we're gonna be uncorking things here and that's gonna be it for today. Yellow Bell! All right! <laughs> a tall human was watering the garden. His white shirt and black slacks were simple and clean. So they just kind of put them all here. Like, way after you're introduced to the concept. That is so strange to me. Teacher! As the two young children called out, a man who was watering the grass raised his head. Yes? Anything the matter? The man they called Teacher kneeled down to peer at the young boy through his glasses. Teacher, when's Lot coming back? Oh, that's the next the cat. The question came from the little girl. Even from a distance, I could see the man's face grow dark. Teacher, will Lot ever come back? The little boy looked up expectantly, but their teacher could only furrow his eyebrows and purse his lips. I'm gonna run out of furrow space. More children gathered, questions alight on their small faces. Their matching white shirts were tattered with use. I could imagine that Lot, too, had joined this mm -hmm. circle with her signature yellow bell. The young children didn't appear to have parents. They lived in the big, plain house with the man they called Teacher. Yeah, they call him Teacher, but yeah, this is an orphanage. 
Or like a... If you're not, or it could be like a boarding school. Now, what's taking her so long? She's gone away before, but... The teacher murmured an excuse, but the children wouldn't be soothed. We want to play with Lot again. Uh, maybe Lot's sick. Maybe she's hurt. I bet she misses us. She must miss us. And these are all accurate statements. <laughs> As worry spread among the children, the teacher asked them a question. Let me ask you. Does it make you sad to think that Lot's lonely? Of course. We miss her. The teacher nodded and continued. Then, if Lot knew how you missed her... Whoa. It'd make her sad. Why right? why is it the man not His making was gentle. not making the, the VA there and instead it's a narrator? That's just a that was kind of jarring. As I watched from a distance, I hesitated momentarily. I okay, knew that the yellow bell that Lot possessed was from this orphanage, which was why I'd come. But I couldn't imagine that she really had a family in this place. Would anyone care if she were gone? How does narrator know where they all come from? Well, I think that the idea is that she had a chance to observe all the sisters. Their before. world is now put to rest. The children returned Saw to them their living. games, but one girl lingered behind. A freckled girl with curly hair. But we're all the girl mumbled. Looking down at her feet. We're all still sad. Even if Lot isn't lonely. The teacher put his hand on top of the girl's head. I suppose there are some things that can't be helped. <laughs> I shouldn't say this because it's totally a mood killer. But as soon as I read... Uh... uh the teacher put his hand on top of the girl's head. Immediately, my brain went, little girl spinal sword. I couldn't help it. I know what you do at night. I apologize. The girl blurted, looking at him hard. If you really felt it couldn't be helped, then you wouldn't be out searching for Lot every night after we've gone to sleep. The teacher quickly put a finger to his lips. Mm, those hesitations. Everyone's worried enough as it is. But now I'm more worried about you, teacher. The man simply nodded with a sad smile at the girl's words. I know that. And I'm sorry. Then, with the hose still in hand, he looked at the sky and spoke aloud. Between you and me, I'm not all that worried about Lot. I'm sure she'll still survive outside these walls. All that matters is that we all considered her family. I'm sure she wants to treasure those words, too. Because the family we made here is the only one we've ever had. As far as I'm concerned, we're Lot's family. And as long as she knows that, everything will be okay. And to be honest, I believe that Lot will return someday. Night came, and the lights in the orphanage winked out. I slowly crept out from the shadows that spread before the orphanage. The moment the teacher saw me, he stopped in his tracks. The light from the full moon completely transformed me. I rang the bell, knowing it was all I could rely on. See, that doesn't look like people feet. I'm just what? saying. Is that you? Yes, yes. It's me, Lot. <sighs> so then, does this mean you're ready to come back to our home? But of course. If you'll have me, that is. See, notice how the replies, they are not quoted, they are not spoken back aloud. At the orphanage. The freckled girl was trying her best to calm the children who were crying from the teacher's absence. For days now, she'd taken his place guarding them at night. Holding the young girl to him, the teacher announced my return to all the children, to all the family. Man, 
You're gonna have a I am Lot. busy life. Lot <laughs> with her yellow bell. A gentle member of this orphanage with a bigger family than anyone could ask for. It's gonna hop from family to family. All right, and then this guy. <laughs> okay, down to orange. Everyone in town called the old writer who lived in this house a weirdo. The house was old fashioned and the walls seemed weighted with history. So little care and upkeep had been done to the place, it wouldn't be a stretch to call it a dump. The front door was always open, and not because it wasn't locked, but because there was no lock at all. Some would think that an invitation to burglars, but the place was such a mess that you'd lose all interest in stealing the moment you stepped inside. Now that tactical slobbery. The house reflected its owner, an oddball, aged and in disarray. And this day, that oddball writer was laying in the middle of his hallway. For a moment, I thought he was dead. But every once in a while, his finger would twitch, betraying signs of life. The bones in the back of his hands stood out, gnarled under paper-thin skin. Ugh. But his slicked back hair looked young. The black framed glasses he habitually wore had stayed on, even after his fall. He'd probably worn those glasses so long that they were a part of his very being. And there he lay, weaving my way through the filth and the clothes and the furniture. I entered the house, and he didn't even notice. Bisque. He called my name in a gravelly voice. With each call, my body would shiver with surprise, and the bell would ring. It was a refreshing sound. The old man must have heard it too. He immediately leapt off the huh. floor okay. and turned his back to me. Not another step. The man almost spat out. I don't want you coming near me. And with that, he went back to the mountain of papers that buried what might have once been a desk. His hand never stopped moving as he scratched at his head. Believe it or not, he'd call out, drop to the floor, and do it all again. Hmm. I was thoroughly baffled. And so I sat in the corner of the writer's room until night fell. The bell at my neck continued to tinkle lightly as I tilted my head. Can this man truly be Bisque's family? I came to check up on him every few days. But each time he'd act just as wild and nonsensical. When he wasn't throwing himself on the floor, he was completely immersed in his writing. This feels like it was in the past, which isn't the case. If there's a lot of books, there would be some mice and rats around. So, a cat italicized, would be very interested in sticking around here regardless. Disturbed by his unnatural behavior, I tried my best not to allow my bell to ring, and so I stayed nestled in the corner until I finally heard the sound of a pen sliding across the desk. Phew. A loud sigh was immediately followed by a loud thud. He'd fallen backwards off his chair. Finally finished. The way he breathed those words sounded so unlike his usual crazed tone. I lifted my head, and the bell chimed to him gently, with his back still on the floor. He let out a low moan. Oh, Bisque. Bisque, my dear. I was sure he'd yell at me to stay away again today, but instead he just lifted his thin, ghost-like arm and gestured to me. Just as I neared him, with my careful, steady steps, he suddenly grabbed me by the scruff of my neck and dragged me down with him. At first, I went stiff with fear. But then, I heard the beating of his heart. He gently closed his eyes and petted me. Ah, uh, Bisque, is that you? You've gotten so much thinner since I last saw you. 
His bony hands were rough, but he petted me softly. As I sat there, unable to answer, the beating of his heart became softer and softer. He continued to coo at me gently. <sighs> Finally, I'm able to sleep. His last words sounded more like he was speaking them from a dream. As the hand on me never wavered, I finally realized. My doubts were cleared. I understood now that this was the orange-belled Bisque's family. And as I gently closed my eyes, I could feel the sound of my own heartbeat, slowly melting free of its ice. That is a really interesting turn of phrase. I'm pretty sure that existed I'm somewhere Bisque. else, but... And it's pretty Bisque obvious, orange bell. but it's also really nice. The foster child who brings peaceful a slumber comma period to be. the master writer, whom everyone called crazy. Hmm. That's Orange Bell Bisque. I'm curious. Uh, club is better than pipe, right? No, pipe is better. I keep forgetting. That is not the button I want. That's fine. Oh, there's one easy way to check, so let's just go here. Yeah, golf is better than pipe. Um, let's see. If I do this, this. So yeah, there was you. I'm probably missed one. Two, three, four, five. So two more books, maybe. Maybe, actually, three more books. Two more colors of the rainbow. And a conclusion. Is what I'm thinking. So I'm missing, like, two food types. Well, that was attack plus. So that would be the other special juice. Another thing there. There's another red weapon I haven't met. Memory items. Memory items. Or, or keys. There's potentially all of this in terms of memory items left. So there might be a little bit more of game left than I thought. So you know what? Good. So I can put you back here. And now I have two golf clubs. And everything is going to be okay here on that end. All right. So more hallways with more ghosts and the occasional uh, narration. And up until we find the silver-haired girl, which we have not. No, yeah, today felt a lot more memory-based than, like, game-based, but they kind of take a while to go through, you know? They got, like, a whole mood to set up and all that. Like, I get it. Like, I understand. 